What's going on guys, Domestic here, and today I'm going to just show a quick little video. This is just some um, 5 tips for Xbox One players, you know, as we still haven't got 1.3. But it's drawing nearer, probably the end of the week, or, you know, next week. Probably next week, to be honest. So I'm going to show you 5 things you should do if you're not going to start a new world and you want to have the best 1.3 experience possible. So let's get right into this. 5 is going to be to create a Moon Lord Arena now. It's only number 5 on my list because it can be annoying to make, but if I could get in the teleporter. You don't have to afford it out like I had, but yeah, you just need something simple. Campfires, heartlands, I chose asphalt so I can run away even though he can teleport to you. And something to do when he has those big beams, even though I have a rod of discord, you all might not have one. So I'm going to take you guys to number 2 because the second one is good as well. And it's literally over here. So. so Number two, no, number four, is to create a, I forgot what he's called again, Lunatic Cultist Arena. This one's really simple. You just need something to make it a lot easier when you're defeating him. Because he teleports around and also summons in other versions of himself. But yeah, just have campfires and heart lanterns and you should be fine. Okay, so I'm going to take you guys to number three and I'll be right back. Okay, so next on the list is to create a last prism arena or just a farm, you know. Because um, the way the last prism works, if you have enough potions on you, so for example, more than this probably, um, the last prism will continue to go whilst you hold down the trigger. So, I don't know, if you prop something against it or if you're willing to save it for about now and farm, see what you get, you can get some really good stuff. It's really good for events as well. It's like the most overpowered weapon in the game. Makes killing anything really easy. So, um, of course, I'm going to try and get that straight away. But yeah, this is... um. Just ignore the traps. I'll take you guys to the next one and I'll be right back. Alright, next on the list is to build a solar tablet fragment farm. Over. But this is really simple. Just create like a bunch of traps. And the enemies will spawn below and above here. This is just the way mine works. But you can... I'm back to here. You can build it to how, how yours appears. So like there's an entrance there. You do that. Okay guys, so I'm going to take you to the last one. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See you in a bit. Alright, so number one on my list is to build an Okram Memorial because Okram is no longer spawnable in the 1.3 update and most of the update, most of the drops he has um, are now gone. The van the armors have turned into vanities and I keep stuttering at every word I say. The only two items that remain of Okram apart from those is the Okram Trophy and the Okram Mask which, you know, you will not be able to get anymore unless you've already, already have it so get farming before this comes out for Xbox One, put it in a chest, so these two items will remain, put it in a chest, and bingo, you're done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you're really excited for 1.3 Xbox One, click subscribe, or you know, you don't have to. I'm, I'm going to have a lot of um, videos coming out, as soon as it come out. Well, hopefully, anyway, if I'm, if I'm not busy, which I shouldn't be, don't worry, I'll make time for this. But yeah, let me know if you guys want to see an expert mode playthrough, which is what I was going to do. I was also going to go on this world and start a series where we just try and obtain every single 1.3 thing. Which can be quite fun, actually. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye.